Hello everyone. Hi, I'm Dr. Bassam Saab and I'm talking to you from Abu Dhabi, United Arab Emirates. Uh, we are very lucky to be in the United Arab Emirates during this uh, period of lockdown and, co and COVID and all the stress around the world. Uh, we are lucky to be in this peaceful country. Um, so I want to welcome you all to the United Arab Emirates, to Abu Dhabi, to my little lecture here, which I hope that you will like and I hope that you will uh, get some benefits out of it. Okay. So we will wait for a few minutes until some of you are here. Uh, I, I may not be able, I may not be able to see everyone. I will not be able to see everyone, but uh, I mean, the, so that's why if anybody is available now, if anybody is here, just say hi so I know that you are attending. Okay. Okay, so I excuse my uh, uh, my little experience in technology. I'm trying to see myself there in the bridges of life. Life. Why I'm not saying life? I, it should be life. Okay, now I'm live. Yes, but I cannot see you. All right, I don't know who is uh, sending me messages. But anyways, uh, please, when you send your message, say I am. Uh, you, I mean, say your name so I can really answer you. Uh, uh, directly. So we will wait a few minutes now until some of you are available. We will wait a few minutes until some of you are available. Okay. Mariella. Mariella is here. Hi, Mariella. Good to see you. Badr Maktari. Hi, Badr. Long time, Mr. Badr. How are you? So we will wait a little bit to, uh, to meet uh, more people. I'm going to talk about mood managers, how to be the manager of your mood, how to become a mood manager. Mood manager is a title, it's a big title, talking about mood and how can you manage your mood. Uh, we are passing through difficult times everywhere, everywhere in the world. People are jobless in many places, people are having less than their normal salary so the general situation the general situation in this life is not the best that we can however we cannot change the circumstances we cannot change our atmosphere we cannot change our surrounding we cannot change our history what what we can change is only what we can change is that we can change our mood to stay above all these difficulties that we are running through. How it is, it's something very simple. It is something very simple. Uh, hi, Gaetano, good to see you. All right, so we are talking about mood managers now, and let me just wait a few minutes and let us talk in general about it until uh, more uh, more audience comes, then we can start our uh, PowerPoint. You know that we are we have a subconscious mind, and this sub subconscious mind is the secret of all, secret of all our lives, and it's a big secret. If you know how to, if you know how to control. If you know how to talk to your subconscious mind properly, then you will be able to overcome all, most of your difficulties, even sicknesses, even illnesses. Because the illness and the thickness and the disease comes from our thinking. So everything starts with a thought and this thought can materialize and when it materializes, it reflects on our body. And sometimes it, it reflects in our body in pain, in illnesses, in, in many moods that we are. So if we learn 
a language that we can decode, a certain simple language to talk to our subconscious and change it is, uh, uh, its front, which means if the front, you know, in war we have two fronts, for example. The subconscious mind is taking care of the front of your benefits. He is defending you. But he defends you in the way he thinks. You are giving him the arms, giving him the weapons in the way you are thinking, in the way that you think it is right. So he is taking the information from you. It's like the computer drive. He's taking the information from you and he's reacting according to, to the information that you are giving him. For example, I'm not happy and I have a headache. Okay, I keep on telling myself I'm I'm not happy, I'm not happy, I'm not happy, I'm not happy. Even if it's a mild problem, but I will certainly become in a very bad mood and I will not be happy. If I say I'm sick, I'm sick, I'm sick, I'm sick. And we know in our lives many people who really uh, uh, likes to play like the victim all the time. Oh, I'm sick. Oh, I'm not feeling well. So this sick and this not feeling well the subconscious mind will record it and record it and will consider it as a fact. So he will work according to the fact that you are sick. But he should help you. Sometimes he helps you in the wrong way. That's why we want to know how to, how to talk to our subconscious any language that he can understand and he can adjust and adapt accordingly and then he will be the good army defending you in the right way. He is defending you in any way that you like, in any way that you think actually, but we want him to do his job in the best way. You know, we say we know that energy follows thought. So when we have the proper thoughts, when we have the positive thoughts, when we have the happy thoughts, optimistic thoughts, our life correspondingly will be also good. So what you send to the world, it will come to you in multiples. Okay, what goes around comes around. You send to, to, the, to the universe love and happiness and for sure, you will receive love and happiness. And vice versa, if you send anger, it will come back to you in ripples, in multiples. So if you send angry uh, feelings, it will come to you like an echo, like a mirror, you are sending to the mirror and the mirror is bringing it back to you. But this time, it's not bringing back to you in the same scale, it is bringing it back to you in multiples and multiples of scales. That's why we have to think about it and we have to, uh, uh, we have to see how is the best way and what is the best way to be back in our best mood. Okay. Uh, the way to be in our best mood is that we, have, we can give us a very simple example. Breathing. Breathing is the best way, or it is the most important way that some people don't know how important it is. We breathe. Everybody can breathe. But are we breathing in the correct way? So if we learn how to breathe properly, then we are helping ourselves and we are sorting out many solutions. So, let us see something now. Let us make an exercise. The, who, is, who is watching me now? Let us start by a little exercise in breathing. I want you please, okay, and I will take a little time in that, to think about a, an instance or an incident that you do not like. Good evening, Sylvia. So the first exercise, Mariella, yes. Okay, I can see here. 
Yes, Mariella is saying we can be the victims of ourselves if we have negative feelings, thoughts, judgments. We must be positive. I mean, positive approach to life. That's very true. So the first, the first exercise we have to think about, think about a very irritable or irritating incident that makes you feel unhappy. Any incident, your manager at work, your ex-husband, your ex-boyfriend, your girlfriend, uh, anybody who, or a person, or a or situation, think about it that makes you up, that makes you unhappy. So, if you can make it, if you can think about it, just think about it. Keep it in your, in your, uh, in your uh, thoughts here. Think about it. And certainly you will have a charge in your body somewhere in your body, okay? Maybe a pain or maybe an, a certain anger, like waves here it comes. So I want you to close your eyes, think about this situation, and see and give it a grade, a number from 0 to 10. 0 being no effect at all. Does it make you angry? Or 10, which it makes you super angry. So this incident, think about the incident of a per or a person that makes you unhappy and give this thought a grade from 0 to 10. From 0 to 10. Okay? Give it the count on your fingers. Suppose it is 7. All right? Keep the seven, your fingers on seven like that and you start breathing yes mariella you can th think about that person yes of course and see how unhappy you are and and give it a grade from zero no pain 10 most pain so give it a number and close your eyes and start breathing properly, which the breathing is, it's, a, it's a, a, a soft breathing and slow breathing, which means that you are taking air from your nose. Keep it for one second and then let it go. Continue doing so. And while doing that, if you made number seven, and you are you started feeling better your thoughts are becoming better start eliminating start eliminating the fingers okay start eliminating the fingers so the grade is is the number here on our fingers say 7 and as as we are breathing as we are being, you can close your eyes. It's better to close your eyes. And also it's better to keep your tongue on the upper side. So we are closing the circuit of, closing the circuit of energy. So breathing slowly. We continue doing that and give it some time and then when this feeling of unease or anger or pain or sadness or crying is becoming less and less, so we will eliminate these fingers. And slowly and gradually, you will see that the charge of this incident become much less than the beginning. It will go down. So you are feeling sad, you are feeling sick, you are feeling you are not feeling very well. This feeling will go down and will go down and will go down until it will become zero. So imagine, imagine in this simple exercise of breathing, how much you are getting better. Simple example, and we are talking about breathing. We did not enter to the technique yet. 
to enter the tech to the technique we have to agree on a few things i will show it to you in a powerpoint presentation so when we agree on certain items or we agree on certain uh, thoughts or certain ideas then we have the base to start our technique all right so i will start with my presentation now Okay, how to get back to your mood? So, with, as we did, I felt uh, Sylvia perfect. I felt the strength of my fingers give away slowly, but definitely. Very good, Sylvia. Yes. Very good, Sylvia. Let me show this on, this, on my screen. Yes. I felt the strength of my fingers give away slowly, but definitely. Yes, this is very important. So we go back about for the technique that we have, been, we have been talking about. Think of some issue that is bothering you. Give the emotional charge from the issue a number from 0 to 10. Hold the number of fingers related to the charge and begin breathing. Breathe deeply, deeply in through the nose and blow out through the mouth while keeping focused on the charge. Bring down the fingers as the charge comes down. Keep doing that until you reach to zero. So this actually it's a course this one is a course that we give and the, uh, the 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 lady who invented this course is uh, her name is atman parma from india and she made a certain language that the very good mariella uh, that the uh, subconscious can understand it's it's a decoding language this is her and me in india so let us start let us start why mood managers so if in this table you can see negative thoughts and positive thoughts let us start with negative thoughts we have negative thoughts this will transform into negative emotion and this negative emotion will transform to become undesirable manifestation on our life and our physical body so it is clear that the thoughts will become an emotion and this emotion will be on will have a reflex on our body we can have a job on that for example you don't like much your mother-in-law okay and your husband comes suddenly and tells you, look, my mother is coming in five minutes and you have to make food. So the first thought is anger. The second thought, oh my God, you will say, oh my God, she is coming. So this is multiplying now. And then what will happen? You may have a pain in your stomach. You can, may have a headache or you can make anything. So this is an example. A joke actually and i apologize from all mothers in law uh, that, that how things can transfer from a thought to an emotion and how it can reflect on our body when we have so another example if we got frightened somebody frightens us and you see a disaster on your face uh, in, in front of you god forbids suddenly you will feel pain either in your heart or in your stomach or you feel your shoulders are heavy or something like that. So that's how it reflects on our body. Consequently, positive thoughts, it will give us positive emotions, waking up very happy, music, go to the shower, good uh, healthy food, and then you go to your office. So you will have a better, a better feeling, okay? So positive thoughts, 
will become positive emotions and it will become desirable manifestation on life and the physical body. Okay? And by the way, what is negative for you is not negative for others. What is uh, uh, sad for you is not sad for others. So it doesn't, we, can, we don't have a general criteria on what is the, uh, the negative and it's relative. The negative and positive are two things that are relative. All right, so thoughts, emotions. This emotion becomes an energy, a patrol, a fuel. And this fuel will, will come to your physical body. So do you want to have a fuel? You want to have a good fuel that boosts your car, your engine, or you want a, a negative fuel that will stop you? So we, we need a good energy, good fuel, and this will reflect on your physical body. Mariella, when I breathe, I feel sensation to fly across the sky. Perfect. To be part of the universe. That is perfect. That is really perfect. So what is positive for you may be negative for others and vice versa. How good and bad moods affect us. Reflect about how moods affect you. You just think about it, okay? And just try to remember how these, the bad mood will affect you. Would you be able to operate in your work properly? Would you be able to give the right decisions? Would you be able to communicate with others in the right way? Certainly not. You may have, you may start a quarrel, you may start, you may start a fight, you may start any inconvenient thing. So it's always best to be in your best mood. So these principles are what you resist tends to persist. What you resist tends to persist. Problems in life are there because we create the space for them. We space, we create the space for them. For example, I have my hand like this. Okay, my hand is like this. I'm having, a, I'm putting a space here in my hand and carrying this one. But when I dismiss the place, it will fall. So, so we, we are creating the space. The more integrated you, whole you feel, the fewer are the problems in your life. So you have to be above the problems. We, have to, we shouldn't be getting irritated from simple things where if we just close our eyes and not think about it, we will feel better. What's happening in the now is an influence of the past. Yes, everybody, that's important. We are not existing here. If our mother and father did not meet someday and made love and we recreated. So everything, we are always the result. We are always the result of many things before. Many things before. So many things that happened in the history. So. What's happening in the now is an influence of the past. So we are creating now our future as we have created the, our now, our present from the past. The past cannot be changed. However, your response to the past can be changed. This is very, very important notice. Okay, we have a comment here from Sylvia. Nobody ever teaches us to go with the flow. But recently I have learned that if I resist less or not at all, things happen in the way best possible for me. Of course, of course, certainly. That's what we are talking and that's the right thing that you are doing. Okay. So now we, we have to skip this, this thing, not important. Okay. Uh, so let us ha let us talk about your defenses are counterproductive. Most aggressive people are defending the vulnerable part within within them by showing aggress aggression. Okay, when you are aggressive, you are hiding something. Believe me, that's true. This invites further aggression. This invites further aggression, making them feel even more vulnerable. People who project very humorous and jovial facade but are very sad inside invite, invite 
neglect because most people assume that because they are so jolly and happy, they must be very happy. Okay, so they, they overact because they are hide, hiding a sadness. By the way, the most famous comedians in the world are very sad people. People who have the Superman and Superwoman syndrome end up doing the most tough task without help because they are seen as being able to handle everything on their own. We always face, and we have it in our families, we have it with our, with our friends, that people, they like to, be, to do everything. Okay, they want to do everything, on, they want to be heroes. They like to have the image of a hero and a Superman. These people are always well miserable because they end up doing these things on their own, nobody will care. Okay, you are capable of doing it, why should I help you? Quite often, someone that's short of cash demonstrate excessive generosity and end up getting taken for granted. Which means, yes, this is very important. Ahla wa sahla sana, ahla mfiki. Hela course, hela la elik sana. Fa lizalik, الواحد اللي بيشوف حق يعني ما معه مصاري ما معه مصاري كثير بيصير يحب يظهر انه هو عنده مصاري بيصرف اكثر اوكي لانه هيدي رده فعل عن الاشياء اللي هو مخبيها. البند الثاني هون بنقول what goes around comes around bad mood sets set triples example to starting the day with a bad mood يعني ماذا ما تزرع تحصد ينعكس يعني المزاج السيء عليك باضعافه، يعني اذا انت عندك مزاج سيء بده ينعكس عليك باضعافه انك انت عم تبعت للكون هالمزاج السيء، فلذلك دائما لازم نحافظ على مزاجنا الجيد. A good, a good mood is directly proportional to your creativity and effective performance. Example, poets, scientists downloading, uploading and the shower. Okay, which means here that uh, uh, the, the people, they give their best when they are happy, okay? When they are relaxing. So if you are a poet, or if you are a writer, or a composer, or a painter, you can do that when you are in a peace of mind, when you are in, in the mountain, on a hill, enjoying the uh, nice uh, uh, view of the lake. You can do poetry, you can do music, everything. So your creativity will come when you are relaxing. And here, <laughs> it says uh, when you are you are you, you can upload while you are downloading which is uh... <laughs> okay so uh, I will not talk about it now this downloading downloading I mean a personal physical downloading not the downloading in the computer okay here is the blame game we play a blame game the blame game is the greatest excuse one uses to avoid taking charge of one's life and be a good manager. Okay, so we always blame others. Oh, you didn't tell me that. Oh, you didn't invite me. Oh, you didn't help me. Oh, so we have we have a blame game. So let us take the the initiative and not to blame ourselves. Certainly, Sylvia, when one is in a bad mood, the light is switched off 100%, 100%. That's why we have to put it on. Okay, so all answers and solutions, this is important, all answers and solutions are there in your mind. Solutions are simpler than the problems. Remember in the exam times, we have, we have been students and we have our kids, they are students or they will be students. And we have this panic of exams. When do we study too much? We have white nights studying all the night, trying to memorize everything under tension and under pressure. And the parents saying, yes, you have to be the first. Yes, you have to get the best, the best, uh, the best grades. Okay, under such a stress, okay, such under such a, 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 a stressful mood, imagine you yourself are going for exam and how would you do the exam? You will feel that you forgot everything. Whereas when you go relaxed, 
you are not worried about the grades. You studied, you did your job. You sit on the exam table, take a breath, a proper breathing, and then read the questions and the answers will flow. All the answers are inside, the solutions are inside. Here we say an example. For example, if you lose your keys and you get a panic, you will not find it. You will search the whole house, you will not find it. But when you become in a good mood, when you become relaxed, then in a minute you'll find. You may you may lose your glasses and what's, while it is here on your on your on in your face. So uh, so we have to be in the bad mood. Okay. How is the practice now? Let us let us have the, uh, the the secret now. Okay, so we don't need the presentation anymore. Okay. So here one of the comments: "Be the difference." Very much correct. When one is a bad mood, their lights are switched off. That's very much correct. This is a very wise sentence. The best word is the word that we don't pronounce. Yes, if we don't have to say something that may that may reflect on us and all and on others. Okay, so now let us concentrate on the solution and on the language. This is important. So the secret. You now sit in a relaxed place and think of the problem that you are having for example you are uh, you have irritation from your neighbor you don't like your neighbor he's making or she is making troubles for you okay and every morning when you leave your house you you face this person and you get very upset Okay, this is an example I'm giving. You must create another example or another thing that makes you unhappy. And let us start the exercise. What do you do? First of all, you close your eyes. Think about your neighbor. You don't have to think about your neighbor if you don't have trouble with your neighbor. I'm giving an example. Think about the person that makes you not happy. Okay, think even you can think about something who somebody who, who is who you lost who is not anymore in your life and making you feeling sad and miserable okay any such thought any negative thought just sit close your eyes think about this thing i'll give an example of my neighbor you instead fill in the blanks and put the right name that you need and what you say, note it down. I recognize my neighbor. Or I recognize. This recognition is important. You are sending the message, the email, the WhatsApp message to your subconscious mind. You are recognizing. When you recognize something means you are starting to solve the problem. I recognize my sadness when I see my neighbor, for example. I recognize my irritation when I drive. I recognize any feeling, the feeling. So, what you have to do? <laughs> the neighbor. Okay, so think about your neighbor, Sylvia. Now, let us do it now. Close your eyes and give this feeling a charge, a number from 0 to 10. From 0 to 10. Maybe 5, maybe 4, maybe 3, maybe 9, whatever. Start breathing and repeat in your head. I recognize the irritation from my neighbor. I recognize the irritation from my neighbor. I recognize the noise coming from my neighbor. Repeat it, repeat it, repeat it. I recognize. Repeat this one, let us say, many times, ten times, 
and you will notice and you will notice that this feeling is minimizing diminishing until it become zero exactly mariela what you're saying okay mariela is saying something here very important people who think to tell me what i have i don't have to do they all exactly so these people are making your life miserable so and they are irritating you now okay just think of them i recognize the irritation i recognize you select your feeling i cannot know what's your feeling i recognize this this first sentence i recognize the bad feeling meeting these people okay i recognize and you will feel diminishing and when you see it when you repeat it after many times it will become less if it's zero that's fine then the matter is sorted out but if it's not zero what we should what what we should do there is another question another sentence i recognize the necessity of having this problem in my life i recognize the necessity of having this problem in my life and this when i say this problem between brackets you fill in the feeling okay you fill in the feeling it can be a thought it can be a feeling and it can be a pain a body pain hand headache anything all right so i recognize the necessity this these people these neighbors or this death that happened to your family didn't happen without any reason. There is something called collective karma. So we are paying for our sadness and we are paying for our happiness. So there is a reason for that. So we have to accept the necessity of having this because it's always a teacher. It's always a teaching. It's always something to make us better. Okay? So when you fall, you go up, you, you wake up or you stand up more, more powerful than before. So problems will make us more hard, more tough. Okay, so uh, so the sentence is: I recognize the necessity of having blah 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 blah. Put your feeling in my life, and you repeat it, and repeat it, and repeat it, and you will also always always keep your measurement. This is a measurement tool. Your fingers and minimize your fingers when you are feeling better. So this is step number two. And there is a third step, which is nice, which is, uh, which is uh, uh, simple as well. We will come to it in a second. So now please do this exercise. I'll give you a few minutes to start and do the exercise. The third, even now, if we still have some residues, okay, then this means that you have a resistance, you are resisting this thing to go out of your life for a certain reason which the universe can answer, okay? So the last sentence you say, I recognize my resistance to let go of this feeling. The feeling, you fill in the blanks. You fill in the blanks, the feeling. It's your feeling. It's, it is a mantra for sure. So I recognize my resistance to let go of dot, dot, dot. So we have three sentences. These are your mantras to say it, to get rid of any bad thought or even any pain. Do it and let me know how much successful you are. I recognize, okay, first of all, so first of all, okay, Sylvia is saying it has taken longer than the previous problem. The difference 
has been when I started saying the necessity of exactly there is every, there is a necessity there is a reason that we have we have we are having these people or these problems in our life so we have to recognize 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 so I recognize this problem I recognize my neighbor I recognize my pain I recognize my anger I recognize my fear I recognize anything that you like I recognize okay I recognize the necessity of having this feeling, this blah, 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 blah in my life. And then I recognize my resistance to let go of this feeling in my life. So this comes to an end. So three sentences, keep it in your mind, write it down and Yes, Mariella, that's true. I recognize my resistance to let go of these feelings. Exactly. And you can as well. Yeah, that's correct. That's that's correct, uh, Mariella. Yes. I recognize my resistance to let go of these feelings. Mariella, if you like to write the other ones, also it will be a good idea. So if you write it in a comment, that's why I can copy paste. I recognize my fear of my neighbor. I recognize my I need to get yes exactly exactly Mariella exactly so uh, you have to recognize the feeling you cannot say all my feelings you have to specify a feeling and work on it piece by piece part by part one item by one item yes so when you do that and you are feeling better Okay, Sylvia here is saying, hi, daddy, that's my daughter. <laughs> okay, and here with the third sentence, I recognize my resistance. Responsibility goes back to the person who is back on charge. What do you mean? I don't understand what you mean. Please clarify here. Please clarify what you mean here so I can answer you. With the third, responsibility goes back. To the, to, to the person who is back on, you are the one in charge, okay? You are responsible. You have a resist, resistance to let go. Why there is a resistance? There are many reasons for this resistance. So you, have, you recognize your resistance to let go of this feeling. You don't want it, but there is, a, there is a benefit, there is a happiness somewhere. Okay, some people, they like to play, as I say, like drama people. Uh, they like to say that they are sick. Why? To get attraction. Okay? Why? To, to get at, uh, attraction, to get, at, uh, to get people to, uh, to uh, listen to them, to be with them, to attend to them. So there is a benefit of being sick. So that's why in your subconscious mind may resist. So that's why I recognize my resistance to let go. Yeah, when you acknowledge, uh, yes, Sylvia, that you are correct. I will answer you here. Sylvia is saying the responsibility of solving the problem instead of only acknowledging. The, so the problem, sometimes it's in you, not in the others. The problem, these thoughts and emotions are in you. Of course, it's good to sort the problem, but you have to acknowledge it, okay, to create the idea that I have this problem, okay, and you will be able by doing this simple exercise to get rid of it, okay. Acknowledging means it's a five fifty percent on the road. Fifty per, you passed fifty percent of the solution, and then you go ahead and you sort the solution. When you become to a, when you be you, you be in a good mood, you will be let's say neutral. You can sort out the problem in a much more effective way. I hope that I answered your uh, question here. Okay, so mostly uh, we are done uh, with this uh, simple and lovely uh, uh, th lovely thing. Uh, next week, by the way, next week I'll be having an interview with the lady. I have the interview with the lady that, uh, that uh, created this, Mariella. 
I personally think that we have the responsibility. Let us, let us see what Mariella is saying. I personally think we have the responsibility to let these people make us feel negative emotions. Let's go up. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Yeah. So uh, we have to grow up. We have to grow. We have to grow. We have to be above. Okay. I'll tell you an example. I'll tell you an example. Just imagine, okay? If you go to Jesus Christ, think about somebody like big like that, a prophet, and you say bad words for him, what he will respond? He will be upset and he will hit you? No. If you go to a, to a guy from the street and you tell him you are a donkey, he will hit you, of course. But if you go to a person with a high standard, with high level of knowledge and conscious, consciousness, and you tell him something bad like that, what he would respond? Of course, he will not respond because we are developing ourselves. What you said is very correct. It's, it's very correct, Mariana. Okay. So, uh, I will be interviewing the lady, Atman Parmer. I will show you her picture. I will show you her picture. One second. Okay, this lady, Atman Parmar, is the one who created this philosophy or this curriculum or this lecture. Okay, I will be talking to her personally and we will be talking about much more than this technique. Lovely, beautiful techniques to use, how to use the pendulum in our healing. This pendulum. Okay, how to use the pendulum to heal ourselves, how to use the pendulum to know where is our problem, how to uh, use the pendulum to sort out matter. You see how the pendulum is going faster and faster? Okay, how to use the pendulum to check our chakras, to check our health. Okay, this pendulum will read. She will tell us about all these things and she will tell us also about the colors of the aura and how we can see the colors of the Aura. So I hope you will be, I hope that you will be attending this uh, 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 this, uh, this lecture. I, I can't remember the date exactly, maybe 5th or 7th. Uh, I will be announcing this. It's very important. It's very nice. And I hope that you, thank you, dear. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sylvia. So I hope you will see it. So now, let us have some good time. If you have any question and you need an answer, the answer should be yes or no. So if you are in a mood and you like to have an answer, let me know. Adriana, I don't speak Italian. Okay. Mariella, if we are strong person, if we have strong personality, nobody has permission to increase our life. Of course, of course, of course. So here we are having this pendulum. This pendulum can answer questions. Okay, it has, it's a program. It has energy. It's made of crystal. So if anyone has a question to ask, this pendulum, I'm ready to answer. I will give it a few minutes. Okay, so we still have five minutes. Okay, if, any ha if anyone has a question, let us see the question and we'll give you the answer. This pendulum is moving so nicely and it's so powerful and it's ready to give you your answers. Okay? Okay, so you don't have to write your question. Okay, okay, Adriana, thank you so much. So you don't have to tell me the questions. Just tell me, I have a question, and I will ask the pendulum, and the pendulum will give me the answer. This is one thing we can do. Another thing we can do, if you want, what is the message? What is the message the universe is giving you? Okay? What is the message that the universe now, at this moment, is telling you? Also, you can ask this question. All right. Any question? All right, dear. So here, I thank you so much. 
I thank all the lovely audience, all of you. Great. It was, I was so happy to be with you. I was so happy to answer your questions. Okay, I have, we have a question here. Can I come out of my... Okay, all right. So I will answer Mariella now. The Mariella, your question is here and I will see the answer, okay? Can I come out of my actual emotional situation? Let us see what is the... Okay, let us see what is the answer of the of the pendulum. Let us see. Just wait. Give it a second. Mariella, this is this will answer your question. This will answer your question. And the answer is yes. But before the yes. You have to do something to become yes. Maybe you have to. I'll tell you what you have to do. Maybe you have to be honest with yourself and do the right thing. So there's a step before the yes. There's a step before the yes. There is a yes, a good yes, but you have to change something to uh, to sort out this problem. But also, let us see what is the what is the problem? What, what is the universe is telling you? Okay, here. The universe is telling you that you have a role in your life which you are not recognizing. Okay? I will tell you what, what, what's the, in each of us, in each one of us, there is something, the male and the female characters in our, everybody has a male and female in him. Somebody, ladies or a man, they are not happy or they are not, they are not accepting their, uh, their situation or their gender, okay, their gender. Not, I'm not saying that you are not accepting to be a woman, no. But there is something in you against this one. So, what you have to say in that, the message, not me, that's the, that is, I, can't, I don't know, it will not, it will not show here. Okay, it will, it will see here. This is the, the, you have a little problem in this chakra. And the, what you have to say, I accept the woman in me. I accept the woman in me. Okay, this is the mantra that you have to say, Mariella. Sylvia. Okay, Sylvia. Okay, so you have a question, Sylvia. I will answer your question now. Let us see. It depends on what we will say. Sylvia, the answer is yes. I hope this yes is a good yes. Okay, dear, so we come to an end, and thank you very much. Thank the Bridges of Light. Thank you, Gaetano. Thanks to everyone who was with me here. I say goodbye, and hope to see you very soon, and I hope that you are all happy all the time. All the best to you, and all my love to you, and bye-bye.